June 6, 1944, 156 British, American, and Canadian forces invaded Normandy. The amphibious landing started at 6.30 a.m. 72 years ago, with the average American GI of World War II being 26. This boggles my mind. Whenever I put myself into any of the soldiers of World War II's shoes, I just feel terror. I couldn't, I don't understand how those people back then went forward, knowing that this day could be my last day on earth. Now, it doesn't matter what side, well, well it, it does matter what side won, uh, World War II, but if we just dumb it down to an individual human level and take out the ideologies of crazy motherfuckers, okay, and we just dumb it down to an individual soldier, that's somebody's son. That's a mother losing her child. That's a sister losing a brother. And it doesn't even have to coincide with just the soldier's of war. You know, millions of children are killed. Casualties. Civilians. Millions of babies. Millions of mothers. Millions of fathers. Millions of sisters and brothers and grandpas and grandmothers are killed in war. And um, I feel pretty, I feel pathetic in a way. The reason why I feel pathetic is because I'm, I'm sitting my ass right here playing a video game. Well, today, thousands of people died. And if there's one small, small reason why I'm doing this and why, I, why it might be okay to romanticize a horrible event is because the more people that remember this day and understand why their lives are so easy and having the luxury to worry about things that they are in control of, unlike the men on this day, is priceless to me. All right, so welcome to the video. I just get emotional on that topic majority of the time. I just speak my heart and that's what comes out. But let's go ahead and get started. So we are playing the event today, the D-Day uh, tournament for realistic battles. And now looking at this, this event really doesn't look like, well, it's not an event. Well, I guess it's, it's an event, but it's a, to uh, a tournament. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time saying tournament or tournament today. Um, but what I think I'm going to do is that we're just going to bring out the Shermans, have a little fun with those. That's not a, uh, a sentence you hear all the time. Have fun with Shermans, but we're going to try it. We'll be versing um, the, uh, oh, shoot. All right, good. Not the Yag uh, Panther, though. That's good. So we'll be versing the Tigers, Panther. I think that we can have some uh, some fun with the Sherman. So let's get loaded out and then we'll get into the battle. All right, so we are loaded up now. We got the A, the M4A176 millimeter, the M4A276 millimeter, the Easy 8, the M4A3 Fury. Well, not the exact one, but you get the gist. And then we have the um, Jumbo with the 76. And then we have the Cobra King with the 75 okay so this one has really good armor uh but at the cost it has a really crappy gun so we'll just see how it works today and then for our planes if it's the way i think it's going to be we'll be taking out the a26 and what i mean like it's going to be like a regular uh, rb game or tank game we got the p47 uh, btd f6f and the p61 all right so let's get started here What the heck is this? The enemy has been destroyed. So we just got our first kill on the M4A2. Uh, this mode is really strange. Uh, it seems that you can spawn in airplanes whenever you want. There's really no spawn points or maybe there's spawn points for higher things. Like my six point or my six point um, M, well the uh, the jumbo, and for some reason in this mode we're able to see where enemy tanks are on. Well, like they show up like they're in arcade. 
Maybe because this is a tournament. Maybe they want to take out all possibility of cheating. I wonder how that happened. Hang on, Tango to the right. Got that guy critical. Really weird. Um, he's still moving though. Okay, hang on here. We're fine, we're fine. It's just like shooting markers, man. This is so much easier than tank RB. Now someone's behind us, it looks like, but we gotta deal with this. This guy's gonna push out soon once his our gunners back up. Okay, we're in a better location here. Now hopefully that guy in A does not get killed here. Okay, there he goes. Now let's turn around for A. We gotta liberate that. Woo, we're getting some artillery here. So from understanding that we can take planes and stuff at any time during the battle, I think after this game I'll go back to the hangar and kind of re or redo my lineup to where we can get maybe like a Havoc Bomber or something to like go bomb their spawn right when they start. Okay, let's check left here. No, I'm not going to do that, but we'll get some Spitfires and uh, maybe, some, maybe a P-47 in there. That'd be dope. Okay, we're about to capture... Uh-oh, please don't tell me we're stuck on this. Yep, I think we are. Yes. Whew. Okay, so we're going to push over towards... Is this C over here? No, this is B over here. And then we'll push more to the left after we come out of uh, this uh, urban environment. So I don't know about how you guys feel about it, but I think it would be kind of cool to allow planes um, to spawn whenever they want. Like, you know, you, you can either spawn a plane in the beginning of a tank RB or a tank in the beginning of Tank RB. I think that would be a cool addition instead of having to, like, you know, grind or, like, get spawn points for that plane you want. Now, I don't think bombers should be able to spawn first up. You know, they're, they're going to need, like, you know, maybe some spawn points. But, like, a Spitfire Mark 1A, yeah, bring that thing into the battle. Uh-oh, we might have a bomber on this soon, though. Okay, there goes that 109G. Bombs incoming. Nope. No bombs. Let's get this guy here. Whoop! Oh, that looked pretty damn close. All we have up is a 109. Yeah, so we'll go back to the hangar, get a better lineup, then come back in here and see how we can do. Okay, so now that we understand what the heck we're going to be doing, okay, so we can take a P-63 out, a TBF, a Sunderland, a Havoc, an Avenger, Spitfire. Okay, because we're the Americans, all we can really take out that's a good fighter is going to be probably... Um, uh, the P-63, and then we'll also include um, the TBF as a bomber. So let's get that hooked up real quick. All right, so we're ready to go. We got the uh, P-63 C-5, the TBF-1C. I don't understand why I can't use the P-47 with invasion stripes. Uh, and, and I don't know why we are using the P-63 C-5 for a D-Day event. Or Well, I, I guess it's a, it's a tournament, so maybe things have to be balanced, but... Um, I'd rather use a P-47, but let's get back into it. All right, so here we go. We got the P-63 C-5 out. We got the one 500-pound bomb. Now, to use that bomb efficiently, we got to drop this thing, like, right over or right on top of the uh, enemy tank that we're trying to engage. Uh, the way that I think I'll do that is a nice... Oh, okay, Tango's here. A nice dive bomb. We're going to try to dive bomb one of these SBAAs here. Because the SBAAs run rampant in this tournament. Here we go. Let's get right over him, and then so we can have a perfect, accurate bomb. Okay, or like that. Let's spin around one more time. Pull up, pull up. Got him! Sweet! Okay, now there, there aren't any... Okay, we got an enemy plane up. I won't call for help yet, but we gotta get the hell out of Dodge. We got Zol over here. And then we got TBF. Where did all my planes go? Okay, we only have one. Where did that spit? Jeez, okay. We got a JU-87. Okay. We are, oh my god. Run away! 
Now that Ju87 to kill that P63 that quick was probably a D5 or the 20 millimeters. Now the good thing is, is that if we get into a single turning battle with one of these 109s, we can probably outturn them. You know, we have a fatter wing. And the 109 has, you know, the wings aren't that big. I'm pretty sure we can outturn them at low altitude. We have no new planes up. I think both of our, yeah, both of our planes just went into their tanks, which is fine. You know, we can still win this on the ground. Okay, let's level out. Let's gain some air speed up. That guy's like, yo, I see you. Now let's put him into a rolling left. Okay, let's do this here. Let's gain some speed as well. So he went for the climb right there. Now we're going to go for the uh, climb now. Dodge that, kind of. Now we have the advantage. That's what I, I just want to get him into a turning fight. Okay, turning fight is a go. Yeah, if I can get him to a horizontal turning fight, I think it's over. That looks like a G6 model too. Look at look at my turn rate on his. Now we can't black out right here, so we'll put a little neg in and then we'll come back in. Stand by. Lost control, that's not good. We gotta make up that time real quick. All right, perfect. We brought him all the way down and now he's mine. Look at this thing turn. There we go. Took a while for that 37 millimeter to connect. 109 is down though. We're going to go for the recline. Now he's probably going to bring in another 109. Just took me a while to kill him, but we got the kill. The thing is, I didn't want to fight him at high altitude and I didn't want uh, to have a vertical engagement. I just wanted him to bring I wanted to bring him low to the ground and then have that horizontal turn, which is beautiful for the P63. Now that was pretty cool, man. We, I, I couldn't engage him for a little while because he was too low. I was kind of going too fast and I would have hit the trees if I got too close. Now it looks like his, um, I don't see any new planes up yet. Let's see if he's bailed out. Okay, good. He's left the battle. Good. So that gives me free reign of the skies here. Now we have a Ju7, Ju87 up here. He's, he has, okay, never mind. He's dead. He hit a balloon. <laughs> no, wait. No, he didn't. No, no, yeah, he hit a fucking balloon. Fantastic. All right. So, um, I think... Okay, so we have... They have two caps now. But look how many players they have dead. That was... That was a... Uh, another reason why I really enjoyed that dogfight. Not because of my aim. I really don't use this 37. Our 50 cals were hitting. Um, but that was like a nice one-on-one -on -one dogfight. You know, I really haven't experienced those dogfights... Um, in War Thunder too often, just because when you're in like Air RB, you have like, you're in a dogfight, and one guy comes and cleans you up. But that was a nice one-on-one -on -one dogfight there. Okay, so they got two people left. We can easily push and cap this. Let's just see if we can make this 37 mil- Dude, we had, we had 60 rounds of the, thir of, the, of the 37 millimeter. So we have 33 rounds left to engage soft targets. Like, a, I don't know, well that, if this is like a Dicker Max or Nashorn, Nashorn, that'd be fantastic. 
and there's no AA up at all. What is this tank? That looks like a... I don't know what... Oh, 38. Okay. We'll just try to track him. Boom! Panzer 4. Get some hits. Yeah, so B and... Um, B and... Or A and B are secured. What we can do, though, is we're going to bail out here. We're going to get in our tank and hopefully be able to kill that Panzer IV that we spotted in the air. Oh, yeah, okay, let's bring this one out. And let's make sure we spawn over here, and then we can go capture C and completely solidify this game to the Allies' victory. Okay, pushing up to C. We have a call-out at C-6-7 of an enemy tank. Okay, there's the Hetzer, though. Okay, let's get up here. Let's get to a high position, then we can engage him. There is no sneaking in this type of game mode anymore. I want to get behind this house right here. Okay, yeah, I hear the Panzer IV. I think I think he might. Yeah, he's right there. I want to engage his Hetzer first if I can. You think he sees me? No, that's his rear. Got him on fire. He's dead. Let's not push out until we're loaded here. And the Panzer IV is gone. Let's go ahead and cap C. Where is C? Okay, C's way up there. Let's go and take a left here. I wanted to get that other kill, but our teammate cleaned it up. M18's able to get on D-Day? Holy... What? What is this event? What is this, man? I gotta keep telling myself it's a tournament, so... Got to keep stuff balanced, but holy shit, an M18. Now, they, they were able to have Tigers and stuff, which is a pretty crazy um, tank to go up against if you're in, like, a Sherman. But you still are able to kill them. They can just one-shot you so easily. Oh, yeah, we got two uh, tank kills from that first bombing on the SBAA. Now, any planes up at all? No. This is going to be a victory for the Allies again. Okay, C has been captured. Moving on um, forward. However, I think, uh, ooh, that Hedger, uh, Hedger just killed an M18. There is one guy in their spawn right now, which is, you know, what he's probably dying to. And there's, the M19 just killed the Jagdpanzer 38T. Uh-oh, who's this here, though? I can't see this guy, but this is him right here, right? I'm just gonna fire. A little bit too low on the reload. That's a dangerous tank from the front. Hmm. Okay, he's down anyway. <laughs> Anti-aircraft gets more kills than actual tanks in this game. At the same time, the M19 was positioned perfectly for that engagement. Alright, and that is going to be GG. Ooh, placing Team 1. Hell yes.